Okay, we're going to work on some more video editing. Surprise! This is your third assignment, and we're going to change a few things on the project we were just working with. So if you uh, have closed down your software, go ahead and open that back up, get into your first project, whatever you've called it, and we're going to change some things here. Um, one thing I want you to notice, these, uh, the video, the audio, and the text are not linked together at this time. I mean, they're not like totally set and and grouped together. I can move this audio, this video down and you see it took the video off of that. It left the text starting at the same spot but I moved my video out of the way. If I bring that back you can see that it now the uh, text is on top of the video again. I can move the video down to the end of the text and then if I were to play it you see that there that there is no video behind the text I can do some different things and then when the text is done displaying then it goes ahead and um, brings the video back in so that's the first thing I'm going to want you to do I want you to move your video down to the end of the text part and now that I'm back into my text I can click on my green text box and I can move my text back around now having just a plain black background can be kind of boring, so I'm going to go ahead and get something interesting. I'm just going to grab a quick abstract um, Photoshop. Uh, so I'm just going to go to Google, abstract Photoshop, gives you some interesting backgrounds to choose from. I'm going to click here on on Photoshop, uh, on the abstract. Now I'm going to try to pick one that has maybe some, doesn't have any text on it, it doesn't have too much going on, because I'm going to be putting some text over the top of it, and it can be kind of hard to get text to be visible if you're going over something quite like that. Um, we'll work with some other programs that will help us do that, but right now um, let's just grab uh, something that has some uh, some spots where we could maybe place the text in some of the black background. I mean, something like this is cool. We'll get into that uh, type of stuff another time. That already has text on it. Let's not work on that. I'm going to grab this one real quick. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save image as. And you can see that I've already been here. So I've saved that in a picture file where I know where to get to it. So go ahead and save it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and copy over the top. And then I'm going to get back into my video and guess what? I'm going to add another object. So I'm going to click on the Add Object button, come down to Images, and I'm going to come over here, grab the abstract lighting effects, one that I downloaded. If you wanted to use a different one, that's fine. But just make sure that you have some black uh, space on there that you can drop your uh, text on. And yeah, I do want to do it from my current position from my cursor position, sorry, but this one, look at the duration, 20 seconds. I don't want that out there for a whole 20 seconds. I only wanted it out there for what? We did it for maybe, uh, I don't know, almost four seconds exactly. So let's go in here and take that out and let's adjust this to 04. We only want this photo up there for four seconds and then we want it to go away. So here's my photo. <coughs> And you notice my text disappeared. Well, that's because this is now layered underneath the photo I just put on top of. And what I'm going to need to do is come to my text and right click, and I want to move this down. And once I move it down to the bottom, it is now on top of the layer. So it is now my top layer here. And you can see that over here in the black, so you can see that some of the text is very visible on the black background, but when you get all to uh, all these different colors, it kind of washes out and it's much harder to see. If I were to move that down into the multiple colors, it starts to wash out and fade out and you can't pick them out very well. Um, we can try adding different colors to the text. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my text, come over here to text color, and let's grab something like red. Um, again, black background, fine. I move it over here and it starts to, uh, it's still not very clear. 
Um, so if I were you, I would find something kind of bright in there. You don't have to use white, but let's just, for the sake of using some uh, real basic editor like this, let's just go ahead and leave it white on the black background, or if you want to use yellow or red, fine. But just make sure that you can read those words easily. That's the whole point here, is you've got to be able to see those words. So now I've got words off to the side. I've got an interesting background. I've moved my video down, so there's several things happening, but you'll also notice, look at my pink audio. My pink audio is not long enough now to cover my whole video, so my video is going to come down here a ways, and then bang, it's, there's not going to be, the music going to fade out and it's going to be gone. So let's fix that. I'm going to right click on the pink. I'm going to go to um, cutting and splitting. And up here it says restore region. So I'm going to restore the entire length of the audio. And I'm going to apply those changes so that you can see how it changes. Okay, look, see, way too much audio, way too much. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to go ahead and I still want my audio coming in at the beginning of what I've got ready, and I want it to go to the end of the uh, video. So I'm going to come down here. This is like heading in almost, uh, what, maybe 20 seconds or so. So let's go ahead and right click on my um, audio sprite, and I'm going to click cutting and splitting. I'm going to come down here to 18 or so seconds. You can see your position down here in the bottom. I'm at 20 seconds. I'm going to come down here to about 18-ish. Uh, let's just call that good right in there. And I'm going to start selection. And I'm going to take my cursor down to the end. And I'm going to click End Selection. Now I've got this. Don't forget, click Cut Region before you apply. So clicking Cut Region. Now I've got what I should have. I'm going to click Apply. And yes, I want to change the duration. And again, I'm just a little too short. So let's go down here. I want this to last a whole 20 seconds, 22 seconds. So let's go ahead and right click on that again. And let's move this down here. And let's go ahead and oh, restore selection. And I'm going to delete that marker. I'm going to move my cursor. Uh, let's just move this red marker down to about 22. Let's go a little bit farther. So I'm about 24 seconds right there. And I'm going to cut region. And we should be okay. Let's apply those changes and make sure everything's fine. And there we go. We now have our audio that extends out probably a little too far. Uh, so we can go back in and change that later. Uh, so try and get your audio about into uh, a couple seconds past your video. So now my audio covers my video the whole entire length. Let's go ahead and preview the video and let's take a look at what we've got so far. Okay, we, we suddenly have all of that and we have into our video there was no transition. Did you notice that? There was no transition back here. It just suddenly popped in and suddenly stopped. Um, so we don't have much of a transition happening there. There's no fade in. There's no fade out. It's just like bam, on, bam, off. Um, let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come down here to my uh, picture my image. I'm going to right click and we're just going to do a quick fade in to make it really fast. So video effects, transparency, fade in. Yes, from the scene beginning. I want it just for a second to fade in. So it's going to be kind of quick. Click on OK. Let's go back out here and let's right click and let's add another video effect and let's go ahead and do transparency fade out. And I want to do it to the scene end one second and bang. So now my image should fade in and fade out. Let's go back in and do the same thing to my text. Let's make it fade in and fade out as well. Video effects, transparency, fade in. Um, from scene beginning, one second, OK. Back over here, right click, video effects, transparency, fade out. And it's going to be at the scene end for a second, OK. 
Let's go back here to the beginning. Let's see what happens. Let's just watch. Okay, that was right at the end of it. Let's go rewind back to the beginning. Here we go. Watch for a fade in. Okay, see it just kind of softly, quickly faded in real quick. And there we go. And then it should fade out there. And there's our video. Okay. I'm going to unmute this. Let's make sure our audio is working correctly. So I'm going to come back here. And my audio isn't playing right now because I have my volume way down. There it is. Okay, let's make sure and have that come back through. Here we go. Okay, I actually have my image fading in, my text fading in, my audio fading in. We're doing a lot of fade-ins here. Okay, so now we've got that all set and let's review what we've done. We have moved our video down a little ways to the end of our text. We have moved our text to the bottom. We added a interesting background for our text to be on. Our text is no longer on our video and we made our audio longer to cover our entire video. So make sure you do those things and again save this as a project. Uh, don't lose this file because we're going to keep adding to this. We're going to keep trying to make things even more interesting and more interesting. This next time we're going to work with uh, the text and making a maybe more of an animated beginning here but we'll have to do that. But that will have to be done in a different program and Again, all these programs we're going to be using are going to be free. So if you have them at, if you have any internet access at home, you'll be able to use these at home as well. All right, so go ahead and do all those things. Make sure you save this as a project so you can keep adding to it. But I don't want your project. That's right, I only want your video. So export your video. Show me how you've changed things. Thank you. Have a good day. And we'll get on to the next uh, tutorial soon.